break. All right, we are recording. These are our teams. All right, if they're in a baseball or a football professional uniform, no brainer, it goes to that team. If they're a current player, either baseball or football, and they're in a they they're on a card that has just the city, it'll go to the professional team for that city. If they're in on a card with nothing, no logos or cities or anything, they they're either in college uniforms or they're in nothing at all. And they're a current player, it'll go to the team that they finished the 2015 season with if they played in 2015. In football, then they are considered still active till the season starts. So if they played in the 2015 season, it will go to the team that they finished the season with. If it's a baseball player or in the middle of the season, it will go to the team they're on right now. If they're retired players, it will go to the team they played the most seasons with. If they played for two teams the same number of seasons, it will go to a tiebreaker of game played. Uh, multiplayer cards, you got to earn 50% or more. That's two of a three-way, two of a four-way, three of a six-way, four of an eight-way. If it's a non-baseball or football card, like from Allen and Ginter or something like that, it'll be random to everybody in the break. Those are the rules. Nobody's saying stop, stop, stop. So I'm going to go, go, go. Just got to open a couple packs of top loaders. It's a simple kind of man. Oh, what am I missing? I don't have any. 30, 30 points. There they are. Now I'm ready. All right. Good luck, everybody. I think we started with baseball last time, so we'll start with football this time. We're keeping it real, keeping it moving. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. I'm going to find a dummy card. I have a tendency to write all over my dummy card, so I can never find one without writing on them. Looks like Crown Royal and 2010 Platinum, and that is Crown Royal. I think that's 12? No, maybe 11. We'll see when I pull it out. All right, those are our two unopened packs. I think it's 13. You could be right. Emmanuel Sanders, rookie. And Charles Scott, rookie. And then we'll have 2013. I bet you it is 2013. We'll know once we see the rookies. Base, Jason Pierre, Jason Pierre Paul. Is that 2011? No, that's 2010. Jason Pierre Paul for the Giants rookie autograph. Another dummy card. Garrett Graham rookie. Keith Tolson to 100. Yeah, he still had 10 fingers in. That's actually not a bad one to get, because this stuff, that's about the only year you can get his autograph, except for his, like, National Treasures. I think he might have a couple. How you doing tonight, Mr. Walt? I didn't even see you come in the room until I saw you typing. All right, our first two. Well, look at that. You're asking about the Panthers. How about Greg Olson, 28 of 50, two-color uh, relic. One color jersey, one color jersey. Greg Olson. For the Panthers. What's up, Mr. St. Louis? And for the Redskins, 12 of 53 color. On card autograph, Rigo. John Riggins. For the Redskins. The Redskins, I think it was Dale N. I think. <laughs> yep, Dale in with the Redskins. It is very fun, Mark. It is very fun. 
Now we're going to go to baseball. <laughs> Let's see what the baseball has for us. Dale's going to be happy with that hit. Looks like 15 Bowman Chrome Rack Pack, and I always get these. I don't know what year the Diamond King is because they all get them mixed up, but we've been doing really good with extra hits. Roger Clemens Mini, insert Rookie Rookie. Twinkies, rookie guard. Oh, be out of be ink on that bad daddy. Purple, purple ink, purple ink. Michael Bailey on for the Texas Rangers to 250. Color ink's better than not color ink, right? For the Rangers, Mamba out. Mamba is out. I don't know if he's any good or not, because I do not prospect whatsoever. But, it's Keller Inc., Mark, in a bonus pack. For the White Sox, 12 of 40. Tribute to the pastime. For the White Sox, Twin Dad. And the White Sox, Chris Sale. He looks very majestic in his pose. He's staring with his chiseled features, his chin poked out. Chris Sale, the pitcher for the Red Sox first. I think he was the first one to like 12 wins this year. He's been pitching pretty good. 25 of 25 for the Miami Marlins. Anthony C. and the Falcons. Anthony C. 25 of 25. Jose Fernandez. He is one of the better pitchers this year. I don't know how he's doing now, but I know he's, he got off to a huge start. Alright, let's go back to foosball. If you guys want in the run back, it's called Fantasy Break uh, ETH -A, what are we? ET Hatch. If you guys want in the run back, it's in the store, or you can just let me know in the chat. Those are, we opened a fresh case of each for this first break, so there's four boxes of each case left. Four boxes of each case left to pick from for the last one. Uh, I still haven't hit a graded card yet. And I did not make the cut on that one. Prism and Top's Finest are our extra packs. Kiko Alonzo Refractor, Jake Matthews, Rookie. Yeah, this product has... Two open packs and two buyback cards every box. Is there ink? Is there ink? Nope. Shane Carden, green, not numbered. Barry Sanders, prism. Rookie, rookie, rookie. No extra hits in that pack. Well, goodness gracious. For the Seattle Sea Chickens, 17 or 25, Tyler Lockett. That means probably the next card's going to be pretty big. If you don't get an autograph in the first card, you probably got a pretty good second card. Was I right or was I right? 
Mr. Tom Terrific. Tom Terrific. 17 of 25 from 2007. I think it's Tops Triple Threads. Or no, the Tops Paragon. Thank you, Mark G. Spots are going in the run back, so don't get left out in the cold. I, we've gotten cards all the way back to 99. I pulled a 99 Kurt Warner score rookie autograph out of this and a 2000 Randy Moss out of the football. So, Mr. Clyde did. Oh, there's some graded, and it's skinny. It might be vintage. It might be vintage. It, it could be vintage. Alright, I just got three more spots taken, so... Oh, oh, my goodness gracious. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it is vintage. It is vintage. We put a Mickey Mantle uh, sweet spot signature out of this, number the seven, from 2003. Sweet spot. And it was beautiful. Unbelievable card. For the Yankees, is that Phil Hughes? We got a Zimmerman Mini and then an insert. So we did get an extra hit out of that one. For the Yankees, Gary Joe, you probably don't like that Yankees hit. I know you don't. What's up, Metzler? Hank Conger, rookie. Refractor, dummy card, base base. I know Dirty Joe don't like that hit, but I think he'll be happy a little bit later. Jimmy Wynn for the Houston Astros. And... New Mint 7, 1958. Is that, is that Mickey Mantle? A 7 and a 58 Mickey Mantle. I know what, I sold this card in a 5.5, five, so I know that's worth a little bit of cash. I had a 5.5 five and a 5 in this, and I know what those went for. But a 7, I think, is, uh, they're not dead. They might be hot cases. Usually, if the case is good, it's, it's good all the way through. Uh, I think my 5.5 five went for 120. My 5.5 5 went for 120 not too long ago, KDN. I had two of those. I got graded uh, last year right after Nationals. And it took me a couple, it took me like 30 days to get them back. I've got a premium pack. You want one, Metzner? All right. I got like five or six spots taken and more coming in. So we're probably going to be down to about 10 spots by the time I'm done. But I'm pretty sure, I'll have to go back and check, but I had a 5 and a 5.5, five, and I think they both went for over 100. So a 7, you know, maybe they've gone down a little bit, but I don't know. And I'll have to go back and look. I shouldn't say, I, I, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure they both went over 100. All right, let's see what our premium pack is. What is this premium pack? It is Museum Foosball. Looks like 14. Megatron not numbered. And for the Browns, Mr. West. Terrence West. That was a yucky pack.
to the Kansas City Chiefs from National Treasures, Jan Stenerud. 6 of 15 for the Chefs. Now, that, I don't think that... What, what did it sell for, Jason? Mr. Walt, thank you. Ooh. 5 of 5. Laundry tag for the Eagles. Jordan Matthews. All right, so I, I was off a little bit. Still, I'll take a, I'll take a, hell, if I'm in a break for 45 bucks and I get a $150 card, I'm pretty happy. A lot of people are pretty happy in this one. I don't know who had the Eagles. Mr. Walt. Mr. Walt had the Eagles. Got a laundry tag. Thank you, Metzner. I'll tell you what, now, sevens are so hard to get. That's why some of the... They're, they're grading so much harder now. It's crazy. I, I, I put a bunch of stuff in. I got killed on my grades. Flat killed. I got killed. I'm scared to grade anything anymore vintage because I keep getting messed up on it. Draft picks and prospects and Bowman draft jumbo. Mr. Les, you, you can't really, you've been doing pretty good lately, Mr. Les. I thought you've been, you've been doing pretty good lately, Mr. Les. All right, Drew. No, you're not. You're not hitless. You got that for the Mariners. Oh, no, you have Mariners, not the Seattle Seahawks. So never mind. <laughs> I'll be quiet now. I'll be quiet now. I'm being dumb. Oh, there's some counter back there. Oh, no ink. Joe McCarty. No, blue not numbered. All right. Here we go. For the Philadelphia Phillies, Aaron Nola. Don Russ Signature's rookie for the Phillies. And the last card of the break. Oh, what up? Top screen for the Miami Marlins. Anthony C. gets a Jim Carlo, Mike Stanton. Tops Blue on card rookie autograph. Number to 199. There you go. Not bad, Kate. Not a bad little break. Wasn't a case, but it was a nice little break. All right, let me get this put up. Uh, no, Mr. Clyde, I don't. I don't